As PC games get ever more detailed and demanding, equipping yourself with one of the best graphics cards just makes sense. No other components impact your gaming experience as much as the graphics card, and with that in mind, we've curated this list of the best GPUs to buy in 2022 to help you choose the best graphics card for your budget and gaming rig. So let's get right into it. The AMD Radeon RX 6600 XT. The AMD Radeon RX 6600 XT isn't great, but at the same time, when GPU options are overpriced, it really hardly matters at this point. What matters for the RX 6600 XT is that it does outperform NVIDIA's RTX 3060 by a decent margin, and on the second hand, it's cheaper by 150 bucks. In an average of five gaming benchmarks, the RX 6600 XT offered about an 11% improvement over the RTX 3060 at 1080p. Across our benchmarks, it had averaged 117.6 FPS, making it an ideal option for 1080p gamers with a high refresh rate display. Still, it's simply one of the best 1080p graphics cards that you can get your hands on right now. Even in a game as demanding as Cyberpunk 2077, the AMD Radeon RX 6600 XT got speeds well above 60 FPS, with every single one of the sliders turned on. Except for ray tracing, of course, but honestly, that's one of the most demanding gaming features for any graphics card. The RX 6600 XT doesn't handle ray tracing as well as NVIDIA's counterpart, but neither card is really cut out for it anyway. The Radeon RX 6 6700 XT. The AMD Radeon 6700 XT is an excellent 1440p gaming graphics card, bringing the RDNA 2 architecture to a slightly more affordable price. The AMD Radeon RX 6700 XT has made AMD's RDNA 2 architecture a bit more accessible to many more people. It's got the same number of GPU cores as the previous generation, but significantly higher clock speeds and much more cash to give it about a 25% boost to performance. In theory, this new graphics card is supposed to bring RDNA 2 down to mid-range markets, setting somewhere between the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3060 Ti and the RTX 3070 in terms of performance. The card features 12GB of GDDR6 RAM, which looks pretty substantial compared with NVIDIA's GeForce RTX 3070 Founders Edition, and its comparatively measly 8GB of GDDR6. In terms of performance, the RX 6700 XT blows out the competition of RTX 3070s and RTX 3060 Ti's. It is a bit faster than the latter and a bit slower than the former. If we include pretty much any game with DLSS or ray tracing, then the 6700 XT starts looking more like a 3060 Ti competitor. The NVIDIA GeForce 3060 Ti. Playing games on max settings at 2560 by 1440 does require a lot more horsepower than it does at something like 1920 by 1080. But NVIDIA's GeForce RTX 3060 Ti is currently the card to beat for 60 FPS speeds on maximum settings. Like many graphics cards at the moment, it's pretty much either sold out completely or on a backlog months long. But if and when these cards start getting back on the market, then the 3060 Ti should be your go-to card for flawless gaming and editing perfection. Although, we might see a new competitor from AMD before the end of June, yet until that day comes, the 3060 Ti is still the one to put on your wish list. Not only is it capable of hitting 60 FPS speeds on max settings in many of today's latest games, but it's also capable of delivering frame rates of up to nearly 70 and 80 FPS in slightly older blockbusters as well. The RTX 3060 Ti also has significantly improved ray tracing performance when compared to NVIDIA's previous generations of RTX cards. This means that you'll be able to play the cream of the gaming crop with ray tracing on at 1440p instead of having to settle for 1080p. And if ray tracing is particularly important to you and you've got the budget, then you may want to think about the RTX 3070 instead, although if you've got a high refresh rate monitor that is. And if you've made it this far in the video and like what we do, then a subscription will be greatly appreciated. Thanks. The AMD Radeon RX 6800 XT. The Radeon RX 6800 XT is AMD's answer to the RTX 3080. It is positioned to be compared directly with Nvidia's flagship card, but it's packed with wildly different specs. The most interesting of which is it's 16 gigabytes of GDDR6 memory. And no, that's not a typo. Nvidia's cards use faster memory, but AMD's card does offer a lot more. You should buy this card if you want to play in 4K, but you don't want the price tag of an Nvidia GPU. For performance-wise, the Radeon RX 6800 XT matches the RTX 3080 and many titles, with ray tracing being turned off. 
Now, if you're willing to overclock your graphics card, then the 6800 RTX actually does edge out a bit. AMD's Infinity Cache that shows up on the RTX 6800 XT allows the card to hit very high clock speeds, resulting in serious performance gains. It's best suited for gamers that don't really care about ray tracing, though, as ray tracing does change things a bit, with DLSS adding a huge boost in performance to NVIDIA cards. That said, AMD introduces the Super Resolution feature as part of the Fidelity FX Suite, which is similar to DLSS. The suite also includes a variety of other visual enhancements, like Contrast Adaptive Sharpening, which restores sharpness to an image after temporal antelae analyzing is approved. The Radeon RX 6800 XT can take advantage of all of Fidelity's FX features. The NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3090 NVIDIA went a different route with its 30 series GPUs, replacing last gen's Titan RTX with the RTX 3090. It's basically a monster GPU, supporting 24 gigabytes of GDDR6X memory, a mass of 10,496 CUDA cores, and a boost clock of 1.7 gigahertz. If you want the best and really don't mind paying for it, then the RTX 3090 is best suited for you. You should only buy the RTX 3090 if you can take advantage of its massive amount of memory, though. The RTX 3080 Ti is almost identical in 4K gaming performance. The best case for the RTX 3090, though, is if you do use it for gaming with some productivity tasks on the side. It can shred rendering and 3D animation tasks, as well as CAD programs like a breeze. If you were to prefer Team Red, though, the RX 6900 XT is a great alternative to the RTX 3090. The 6900 XT actually holds the GPU overclocking world record, and AMD recently introduced a liquid-cooled version that runs even faster than the base model. That being said, the RTX 3090 does come with features like DLSS and ray tracing. Just don't expect to fit an extra GPU inside of your machine because, to be honest, this 3090 is a monster of a graphics card that will make even the largest cases feel small. The NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3070 Playing ultra-wide PC games is almost as demanding as playing them in 4K, but thankfully, the lower 2K resolution of most ultra-wide monitors does mean that you can get away with a slightly cheaper graphics card as a result. The NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3070 is a great choice here, although an older RTX 2070 Super or even AMD's new Radeon RX 6800 will also get the job done as well as based on our testing. In fairness, NVIDIA's GeForce RTX 3080 is another fine choice for ultra-wide monitor owners and those that are determined to play the games at the highest possible settings, along with the fastest refresh rates in the world that would no doubt get a lot of benefit from its extra horsepower. For us though, the cheaper RTX 3070 is a much better value overall because it's capable of delivering highly playable frame rates at 2K resolutions and below. Not to mention, it's probably the closest thing to a cheap 4K graphics card, if you will, if you're going to get one. Indeed, the RTX 3070 is more than capable of hitting 60 FPS in most of today's big games that support ultra-wide resolutions, and it's got buckets of power for playing games at a regular 16x9 resolution of 1440p. Indeed, the RTX 3070 can stand on its own and hit speeds of at least 70 to 80 FPS on max settings if you're talking about 1440p and 60 FPS on 4K at medium to high settings. It's a great card for ray tracing at 1440p as well, making it one of the most versatile graphics cards around for various high-resolution monitor owners. The NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3080 the RTX 3080 is best suited for the 4K gamer that doesn't want to compromise. In fact, it outpaces last gen's RTX 2080 Ti by a significant margin while also launching at about half the price. It can maintain above 60 frames per second for 4K games and titles like Assassin's Creed Odyssey, offering smooth gameplay even in the most demanding of games. Its features shouldn't go unnoticed either, as the NVIDIA graphics card does come back with the latest ray tracing cores for accurate gaming lighting. That way, you can leverage the tensor cores for dynamic upscaling through NVIDIA Deep Learning Super Sampling, or DLSS. The RTX 3080 offers enough performance to warrant a purchase, and these two features push it over the edge. The NVIDIA RTX 3080 is the best graphics card for 4K gaming out there. It hits a sweet spot with a high-end market, delivering enough power to handle the most demanding AAA titles without bogging down the card with extra memory, which isn't useful for the majority of games. The RTX 3080 is truly a gamer graphics card, and 
it's the go-to option in 2022. So what do you guys think about our list of GPUs? If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to check out our channel for the latest news and happenings in the world of tech. And also don't forget to share your favorite products from the video with us down below in the comments. Until next time, folks, stay safe and stay informed.